Hello, let's check how to attach the shifter uh, pipe template for MetaHuman to one of the MetaHumans from Quixel Bridge. So I already downloaded uh, Emory and I'm just gonna click export to my Maya session. This is gonna take a little. Okay, it's loaded. So we can see here the character. And we have this uh, root uh, underscore DRV that is the driving joins for this character. So we can see here if I select one of these and I move it, it's going to trigger all the deformations and all the RVF that are um, driving the, the skin in. Okay, so now we want to use the mgear shifter um, biped for metahumans so we go to shifter guide and templates and we can see now that a part of the biped templates we have this that it says epic metahuman snap okay so basically this will automatically snap to your existing uh, metahuman loaded here but this command um, it's also executed when you loaded the uh, metahuman uh, template itself. So if I load the metahuman here, it will check if you have this uh, driver root. And if you, you have it, it will try to snap it. So you can see now, just loaded the guide and snap it automatically. A few things that you need to pay attention here. Well, it snaps almost everything except the length of the finger so the last uh, section here because there is nothing to snap so maybe there is some adjustments that you want to do here and the same for the um here on the um on the foot so there is nothing that we can rely to snap so probably you want to adjust these uh elements to the uh, position of uh the volume of your uh, shoes or whatever a metahuman is uh, wearing Okay, so that's it. Also, it does automatically one thing. It's here on the naming rules. When it detects that you have the root driver here, it will change this uh, naming rule to underscore uh, driver. So that's, uh, if you don't have, uh, I mean, if you load the template without any metahuman loaded, it will uh, not have that, but if you do it either way, so if you load first the guide and later the metahuman, you want to do it the same, you can use this snap. So basically it's the same, but you need to do uh, first load, load the metahuman, then snap it here. So it will be the same. But this is, was just one click. So that's it. So the only thing you need to do now, it's uh, just select the guide, MGR shifter and build from selection. So now it's built and everything is attached. So your uh, metahuman is uh, ready to be animated. The only thing that you want to check also after the attachment is finished, it's about the squash and stretch and the volume preservation. So this is something really nice that we have by default, but uh, all metahumans are not meant to do that. So when we attach this, you may have this weird deformation on stress, uh, squash and stretch with volume. It's not the squash itself, it's the volume preservation that makes this weird deformation. So you go to the host and you can check here there is a volume. So basically you can turn it this off. And now when you do this squash and stretch, basically it's not changing the volume, so it's not creating this non-uniform scaling that does the problem. Uh, probably you want to also to um, also uh, turn the max stretch to one and the minimum or the max squash to one so basically it's not gonna do any squash and stretch and also for the next so you want to select here the host for the head and do the same one one and the volume preservation that is here it's one so it's going to uh, max squash this to one yeah. so now the neck it will behave also as expected if you don't have that uh, i mean if i show you again without 
with the volume trigger so now and of course the mic is stretched let's pick it it's 0.5 so you will see it's creating a super weird deformation it's because it's not uniform scaling everything so it basically destroying the facial so just remember this i mean this can be live as that but this is the volume just turn it to zero and that's all so you can see with a couple of clicks you can have your metahuman body rigged and ready to animate with mgear thank you